Hi, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multilingual spreadsheet. Uh, that is useful if you have a, a spreadsheet like this one here. Um, it has name, surname, and date of birth. And uh, let's say if several people have to use that spreadsheet and those people speak or work in different languages. So ideally, that spreadsheet should be uh, capable of, of handling multiple languages. So if a German guy opens that sheet, then those uh, uh, titles here should be then in German. If a French guy opens that, it should be then in French and so on. So how would you go about doing it? There are lots of ways of uh, bringing in multilingual um, capabilities into a spreadsheet. But the most flexible and the most efficient one is the one I'm going to show you right now. First of all, what I have to do is we need to specify the language. And um, here the user is going to specify the lang his, his preferred language. And here I would say instead of having the user write his language in, uh, I would rather have him pick a language out of a drop down. So how do you get a drop down? A drop down is, let me just slide it down here a bit. A drop down is uh, you get a drop down by going through data and then validity. Now here I'm using LibreOffice uh, version 3.6. You could do the same thing in Excel. It's the same thing. It's under data. It, it could be called differently. I don't know because I'm using the German Excel. So uh, I don't know what the English term is, but something similar to validity. And you have, if you open it up, you get a similar dialog box also in Excel, um, which has all these. And what you need is list. And now you can list all the languages that you want uh, to have as, as options. Now uh, I'm going to have English. I'm going to have Deutsch for German. And I'm going to have Francais for French. Now uh, in LibreOffice, you put them one, after, uh, one below the other. In Excel, the way you write them is you write a first language and then you insert a semicolon. Then you write the second one insert a semicolon and the third one. You don't do returns the way I do it here in LibreOffice. That's the only difference between the two packages. Other than that, it's the same thing. Okay, there we go. And you see, now I've got a drop down here and I can pick any language I want. I could obviously insert many more languages. We're just gonna skip it with these three. So I'm gonna have English here. Now, ideally is, <clears throat> once I pick a language, those, let me bolden these guys. Ideally, it would be like once I pick a different language, let's say Deutsch, th those guys should be in German. If I pick Francais, those guys should be in French. So how do we go about it? Well, I have prepared a separate table. Let me push it up here. A separate table called languages. Or let me do it better yet. Let me, I don't need all that size. I can just, yeah, much better. I have a, a, a second table, languages, and in it, I've put all the menu items that I needed. Okay, I've got English, those for language name, surname, birth date, those terms in German, and those same terms in French. And now, let's get down to work. Well, first of all, the nice thing about uh, such a table is that if you have any additional languages, well, you can add them here. If you want Spanish, Russian, I don't know what, anything can be added here as another column. And a column is endless. If you wish to enhance your form with more uh, items, no problem. Just go into language table and insert them. And should you wish to add another language and you know you don't speak the language yourself, no problem. Just print that table or a column of that table and send it to that guy who's translating it. All that guy has got to do is like translate those things and your spreadsheet is, is good to go. Okay. Now let's get down to work. First of all, in languages, we want to know what which language is selected. So we need a sort of a reference to the cell where the language is selected. So equal, I go back to my input form and there's the language. There you go. So English is being selected. Now, what I need is the following. Of those three terms, I want that term to be picked, to, uh, to be here. 
So let's say if if if, uh, if I'm gonna do it manually first of all. If if I have English, then la oh, sorry language should appear here. If I have German, then that word should appear here, and so on. And that should obviously go automatically. So how do you do that? Well, here's where the H lookup uh, comes in, and an H lookup works like this. H lookup. You open parentheses. Now, the first thing is, what is the basic criteria? The basic criteria we're after is the language, the chosen language, and this is the content of this cell. Everything revolves around that choice. And I'm going to fix that, uh, meaning that when I uh, um, drag the for the, that formula down to, to for the other ones, for the other terms, that B1 shouldn't change to B2 and B3 and so on. So that's why I, I, I fix it. with the, In Excel, you do it with F4 and you got those dollar signs. Dollar signs means that once you drag that formula down, it doesn't change. We're going to see them when I drag it down. So second of all, the second parameter, now you put a semicolon, and the second parameter is where's the, my lookup table? And my lookup table is this thing here. So I just select all that. I'm obviously now not just selecting this bit because in a real table, you know, you're always going to add new terms. So, you know, you don't want to reselect the whole thing. So basically what you do, you select, you select a big region and a way to do it just select the small one like I did and just change the number to 1000 so now your region goes from C1 here down to E1000 or even better if, if you wish to add more languages in the future why keep it at E why don't we go to uh, let's say K so now we got a big region from C till K Widthwise, and going down a thousand columns, we can even go, you know, ten thousand columns. Okay. Now, one problem here is in Excel, I could basically select the column names from C till K. In LibreOffice, I can't. I don't know why. So that's why I have to put in the numbers. You know, in Excel, I could say C. I'm going to show how to do in Excel. In Excel, you could just select them columns. C till K, and you got yourself. Uh, that means any, any, any that goes, you know, infinitely uh, down. So you know, anything you add in those columns will be taken up by this formula. In in um, in LibreOffice, it doesn't handle selecting the whole column. So that's why I have to put in, uh, you know, a certain region. So I'm just pick C1 and just put for K a huge number. Let's say ten thousand. Is that ten thousand right? Now. Now comes the next part. An H lookup, that's, that's, the, that's the term we're looking for, the language. That is our lookup table. Now, I want to know, now the third term in that, in, that, in that function is, which row shall be returned? Well, this is the first row and this is the second row, so row two. And then, this is a thing called sorting. Uh, basically what it means um, is, that term you're looking for, is it only here or does it, uh, is it, or, let me put it another way. Uh, let me just, let me just put it at zero first of all and I can discuss that later. Okay, so now we got language. Perfect. So let me try and change the, 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 the language to German. You, I got now the German term. And if I go to French, I got the French term. You see? So, and, and let me do it like this. Here, instead of having language written in, I'll just go equal this one. And there you go. And now, you see, if I change my language, already that term changes automatically. And the same thing can now be done for those guys. And now here we come to our first problem. Once I drag it, is once I drag it down. Uh, 
I start getting this stuff. You see, you see uh, why you, you you need those dollar signs because here you had C1 to K1000. Now look, B1 is still the same because here I fixed it with F4, but those two I didn't fix, so that's why they're C2 K1 10,001 instead of C1 2 K10,000. So I've got to fix those guys. Oh, oops, sorry, my mistake. I uh, pressed F4 in, in LibreOffice and uh, that calls something else. So you have to, in LibreOffice, you have to go Shift F4. There you go. All right, now let's drag it out and I will still get that error. I still get language, 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 language. And the reason is because each one specifies the same row. That should be row three. that should be row four and you know if you have like a hundred terms here you don't want to go in each uh, 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 function or each formula and just change that term there's an easy way to do it and that is you put the row number here that is row two that is row three select both drag it down and then what you do in your function you don't write the two but select select a2 so now your row number isn't the literal 2 but whatever is in a2 this you don't fix because you want in the next in the next when you drag that function down you want it here to have a3 and here a4 so you don't fix that with the dollar signs so if i drag it now down see great and if I drag it further down, and now let me write a new term. Let's say uh, street. See, automatically it appears. In German it's Strasse, and in French it's Rue. Oops. And if I take number, uh, number and numero so you see the nice thing about it and the, you can drag that endlessly and you can easily add further terms see and now all i've got to do now in my input form is basically change the literal name to a reference to that cell name surname is here and date of birth is here so and now if I change to Deutsch, I've got everything in German. And if I change to Francais, I've got everything in French. And naturally, if I add another language, I can easily add it here, no problem. I don't have to rework my function because my function can handle languages up to K. Once I have more languages or languages beyond the K column, well, I've got a just add, you know, like turn it that into M or whatever, and then drag that formula down again. But basically, that's it. And here, the other thing is, when I add a language, all I've got to do here is go into my list, basically via uh, data, validity, and add another language here. And that's it. And now I've got a multilingual uh, spreadsheet capable of handling many languages and, it's, and it's, it's quite flexible because you can easily add more terms here as you see it's no problem and you can then insert those terms uh, in here just just uh, let, let, let me uh, uh, include the street just like that and the number like that okay so it's very very simple case and it's a very flexible thing because, you know, you've got endless possibilities for each language. 